All right, so as some of you may or may not know, I don't own a professional camera or DSLR camera like a lot of other YouTube channels. I uh, mainly do most of my stuff on action cameras, uh, my smartphone. I uh, do have a point and shoot camera, which is this uh, right now is going to be the B camera here for the overhead shot that I'm going to show you the uh, stuff in this video. And then the uh, A camera that I'm currently using for audio and video is the Osmo Action. I use that quite a lot. And of course, I use a lot of the GoPro cameras and a lot of my FPV drone stuff. Um, that's why uh, Small Rick sent me a bunch of stuff here to show to other, you know, small creators on YouTube that some equipment here that might be useful for some of those guys that don't own fancy professional video equipment. And of course, Small Rig, they make a bunch of stuff uh, for uh, professional gear as well, but they also have a lot of um, items that will work for smaller cameras, action cameras, smartphones, etc. that I don't think maybe a lot of people necessarily know about. So they sent along a few things here. We'll take a look at them in this video. They sent along this, um, Insta360 1X2 utility frame, and I have a 1X2, I'll show you how this works. This basically allows you to um, add things like uh, accessories, like a cold shoe mounted stuff like microphones, etc. I'll show you that momentarily. They sent along uh, this here. This is a smartphone, like a mini smartphone holder, universal smartphone holder for um, if you want to take your smartphone and use it as a tripod, etc. Pull this out, show you that here. And then the main item they wanted me to show you is this one here. This is a professional phone video rig kit. So yes, this is for vlogging and live streaming. Um, you can see in the photo here, it comes with all this equipment. And I'll show you here in the overhead. This is on the back of the box here. This is all the stuff that comes in. We'll pull everything out of the box and I'll show you everything that comes here, so this will be useful for small creators like myself. I use my smartphone a lot. Um, it basically puts this rig around the smartphone, adds some other accessories here, tripod, microphone, lights, etc., to basically give you a little bit better uh, ability to give you better footage out of the uh, smartphone that you have. Okay, so for those of you that don't know, this is what the Insta360 ONE X2 looks like. It's a 360 cam with two cameras on each side. It gives you a 360 degree video. And this is a cage that you can put that camera into. Now, the key feature of the 360 camera is that anything that is in this sort of seam between the two cameras is hidden. So this is where you can put your additional equipment. And it uh, looks like uh, you have some cold shoe mounts here on the side. There's a little screw knob here to uh, unlock this door so you can get the camera inside. And then, uh, you can add this, um, this is like a GoPro style tripod mount here. And it has some screws with some Allen, like an Allen key that you, you're gonna need to attach that to the cage. And it looks like you can either put that over here in these screws, screw holes here on this side or on this side. So you can attach stuff to the side of the cage like this. If you want to do it, use that as an extra mount, or let's see, yeah, it looks like, uh, yeah, looks like that's uh, for either the sides here, and then once you put your camera in the cage, all right, so you got the camera in here, screw that on. And you still have access to the power button here. Obviously, you can still see the two lenses on each side. This cage is not going to be visible in the 360 video. Uh, you have some, a couple of these in the top. These uh, also are a GoPro style mount. This is like kind of like how the way the Hero 6 works. And these are uh, magnetic, so they'll stick onto the cage and not pop off unless you pull it off. And then you get this uh, lens cover that will go over this. Uh, looks like uh, it uh, goes on like this. So this is also included. So obviously it uses the cold shoe area. So you have to detach whatever is on your cold shoe to put the lens cap on. So you can then carry around this. And instead of inside this case, you can just leave it in the cage. The tripod hole in the bottom is still accessible. Though uh, I'm not sure if this is gonna get blocked a little bit. You may have to use an extender here. 
Anyway, so I think what this could be useful for is um, if you want to add like a microphone. So there's a, an, a, uh, an accessory that comes where you have to buy separately for the X2. Uh, I think you have to attach it to one of the uh, USB-C port, I believe, and it converts into a microphone port, and then you can attach a microphone here if you want to use this for vlogging. I think that one of the downsides of this is as if you put this on a selfie stick, you can get a nice 360 video if you're vlogging, but the audio from a further distance away isn't that great. So if you could use something like this to attach an external microphone here, and it, if it's small enough and thin enough, it should not show up in the video. So uh, if you want to see a video on how to do that for this particular product, let me know in the comments and I can make a video if there's enough interest. So this is the uh, universal smartphone holder. So I think uh, you put your smartphone in here and use it uh, as a tripod and uh, basically as a little extension holder. All right, so here's what it looks like. It's nice and nice and compact folded up. You know, small rig, they make pretty high quality stuff. It's uh, not the cheapest stuff in the world, but uh, the quality of the materials in the build is very nice. You got a tripod hole here in the bottom. I think this, yeah, this is, stretches with some springs to accommodate some pretty wide phones. That you, I believe it, yeah, it was, should be able to accommodate my uh, Note 20 Ultra. And I believe this twists. See here, you can turn it sideways or rotate it. You have a cold stream out here on top if you want to use a microphone. You can flip these little legs out right here. And then this will rotate down like so. And then you can basically put your smartphone in here, use that as a little holder, or you can uh, hold, use this as a handle to hold the phone as well. And then, I'm uh, not sure if you can see this here, these little wedges here on the side. This will work for an Arca style uh, quick release. So if you want to mount this on like a tripod or something, this is can be used for that and it can be very easily attached and detached. And you just test my phone. It does fit in here, no problem. So you can actually Make it flat like this, and then you can use this as a holder. Hold your phone out like this if you want to do some vlogging. And then you have a cold strip here for a microphone. So that's pretty cool. I'll probably be using this in future videos. But yeah, it's, uh, it was very nice. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at the uh, phone video rig kit here. And this is the list of everything that comes in the kit. So yeah, it's uh, I'm not gonna read the whole list off to you, but yeah, there's a ton of stuff in this kit. So basically, it pretty much will give you everything you need to get started to uh, do all kinds of uh, video shoots and vlogging with your smartphone. And you know, I'll probably end up giving you better footage in the end. And you get some instructions. I'm not sure how uh, complicated it is to put all this together, but it shouldn't be too hard to figure out. I'm gonna try and do that without reading the instructions. All right, so we got a plastic uh, shock mount here for a microphone with a cold shoe mount here on the bottom. And this is a cold shoe accessory. It's probably something you add on to the side of the cage. I'm not 100% sure what this is. I think this is for holding the phone on, but uh, looks like it uses a screw here in the top to widen it and to shorten it. All right, so this is the actual cage itself. It's got a bunch of uh, quarter 20 threaded holes, screw holes all around the side here for adding accessories. You can add tripods and other accessories here. This is the main cage for your phone. And yeah, it looks like this is also expanded via thumb screw here on the top for your phone. And so you basically screw that down, that should hold it in place pretty good. Okay, so this is the uh, included mic. Uh, metal body here, never heard of this, brand Sim Simor. So I'm not 100% sure what the quality of this leg. You'll probably see me using this in future videos, so stay tuned for that. But there's a little uh, windscreen on here. It's not that easy to pull off. All right, so this is what the mic looks like. Doesn't look like anything unusual, but let's see what the audio quality is like. Obviously you use that with this little shock mount here. Got one of these little LED video lights with the cold shoe mount here and a tripod hole in the bottom. Uh, let's see. 
I, was, I think it has an internal battery. This controls the brightness, I think, and this little on off switch right here. Turn that on. This is how bright it is. Let's see here. And I press the button, I think that adjusts maybe the color temperature. Yes, yeah, so that changes the color temperature and then the dial changes the brightness. Uh, pretty straightforward and USB-C here for charging. Pretty nice. All right, so you get two of these handles. And so they, they use the, obviously the, the quarter 20 thumbs, the screws on the side and you attach this to the side of the cage. So it's gonna go into the side right here, like so. And so when you're, you can want, if, if you don't wanna hold the cage on the side here, you can use these little handles attach these and that gives you a little bit more stability when you're holding the smartphone for a video. So we'll put all this together here momentarily. All right, so here's the other one. Got the screw holes here on the top. Allen key here is in the bottom and that's for adjusting these screws here. So you can uh, adjust where this part of the handle is. So I need to make some adjustments there. And you get one of these tripods. I think this is uh, all, by the way, I think all of these parts can be purchased separately. This is sold as a kit, but you can um, buy all of these separately if you go to their store. And I think this is one of their most popular mini tripods. It comes with uh, Arca Swiss type uh, mounting plate here on top for quick release. And uh, basically you put this on a camera and you can attach and detach your cameras and other equipment quickly. Got a small ball head here on top. Uh, pretty nice. And then you have uh, a little bit of a fluid head here. It's a nice, it's pretty smooth. But this is also totally detachable. So you can put this on something else. Or if you if you want to use this ball head on some other tripod, you can. Uh, but this just has three legs. And uh, so this is what it looks like. It can go pretty flat, as you can see here, where you can adjust your angle to pretty much whatever you want. But yeah, it's a smaller tripod, obviously, for using on a desk or something like that. And the legs are not extendable, so it's a you know, mini tripod. All right, so there's a small box in here. I think there's some additional smaller accessories inside this box. All right, so you get a couple of different um, microphone cables for the microphone attached and that obviously goes from the microphone to your smartphone. Get this uh, USB-C type uh, charging cable. So this is the uh, dead cat that goes with the microphone. Obviously uh, if you are in windier conditions you want to use this but generally you don't really need this. Uh, the foam wind windscreen is usually going to be good enough in light wind. Only need this if you're in very heavy winds. All right so these are some pretty useful audio adapters. So if you have a iPhone with a lightning connector and no um, audio jack on yours, which a lot of phones have, this will convert that into an audio jack for use with the microphone. So this is for an iPhone and this comes with a pass through here. Same with this one here, this is USB-C. A lot of phones, they don't have the headphone jack anymore. So you can use this to uh, create a headphone jack on your phone that doesn't have that. I'll actually test that out on my uh, Galaxy uh, Note 20 Ultra because it doesn't have a headphone jack. So I actually use something else, but I'll see what the what this is like. And right, the last bag just comes with a bunch of Allen keys, some extra screws, and a couple of Velcro uh, cables. So yeah, that's pretty much it in the whole kit. All right, so here is what the whole rig looks like with the phone in there, the lights, the microphone, the handles all attached. And I am using the uh, USB-C adapter. It does work. So I'm gonna just uh, go ahead and record some video from my phone here using this rig and I'm just gonna point it at myself. Um, one thing that I forgot to mention, and I didn't know what this was here, this here in the front of this attachment, it looks like it's for another smartphone. It, it could be for another smartphone or something, but it's mainly for like an extra battery. So if you wanna put an extra battery for more uh, video time, on uh, your smartphone, you can attach that here and basically go walk around all like a power bank, something like that here, and then have tons of uh, video filming time on your smartphone on this rig. So 
Yeah, I can tell like having the uh, handles here on the side, you can get nice uh, smoother video if you're uh, hoping to get better smoother video instead of holding the phone directly. Uh, so there's that, and then of course you can attach it to a tripod or some sort of other gear. Uh, with this little cage here, you can put it on sliders, um, dollies, that kind of stuff. Uh, gives you a lot more possibilities uh, for making better video with your smartphone. You're probably going to see more of this uh, rig in a future video. Let me know if you have any specific questions about this or how it could be used. Uh, I'll link all of everything down in the video description as always. Yeah, let me know uh, what you guys think of this. Uh, as a video creator myself, I think this is going to be pretty useful. I'm not sure if I ever am going to get a, a professional camera. I may at some point because uh, for certain kinds of product shots, you do need better equipment. But for the most part, I've been able to get away with just using my smartphone and, uh, you know, mainly posting stuff to Instagram and YouTube. It's fine because I don't really do any, like, professional video shoots or anything like that uh, uh, for anything other than my YouTube channel. So, but yeah, even, like, if you're a, a semi-professional, this could be pretty useful for events, that kind of stuff, if you don't want to invest in a lot of extra gear. So yeah, check this stuff out if you're interested in improving your uh, video quality with your smartphone. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Talk to you guys in the next one.